scenario is a dog has had a run in with a snake and the snake, the guy said that he doesn't think it's going to make it but it's very upset and it's in a bucket so he wanted us to come on out for a couple of reasons one, to either have the snake euthanized or to help the snake either one to identify the snake and to also, for obvious reasons because the fact his dog's been down so just to make sure that everyone in mention is okay so we're here to do that right now let's hope that the dog is okay change the subject a little bit, we were just mowing our lawns at home and our back lawn is seething, moving with cane toads about that long. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of cane toads in our backyard. They're like the size of a spot. Yeah, and they're tiny and we've even got fine wire around the bottom of our monitor cages so I'm really worried about that. And I'm mowing the lawn really low so that it um, hopefully makes it too dry but because it's been so wet this month, cane toads have just gone boom and exploded. So that in itself is quite a worry actually. I think it's number 19. I wonder how they're going with their snakes. Yeah, I know that's as soon as I've seen this because we've caught Eastern Browns at this house two or three times. So I actually, is that 19 now? I was coming here betting because of the weather that this would be a keelback because it's across the road from the people where we have removed a couple of Eastern Browns, I think three Eastern Browns now. So this could very well be a freaking Eastern Brown. Some brown, get you another pack. Yeah, yeah, right. Can you repeat until the budget drop? Can we get a snake, sweetie? No. No, we'll watch this after you go. Hey, everybody. Howdy. Howdy. How's things? Good, bro. How are you? Car, keep your air fresh. I came here thinking to myself, this will more than likely be a keel back knowing Callum's Vale and knowing the weather. But then I looked at the house across the road and went, mm, I've done three Eastern Browns in that house, so this is very well could be an Eastern Brown. <laughs> uh, my guess is it's got broken solid. Yeah. Yeah. You want a little blue bag? Yeah, it's a one metre Eastern Brown with a broken bag. Do you want a blue bag or a hoop bag? A hoop bag. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably about it. Yeah, it's a very dark Eastern Brown, like you said, and it's got a broken back. And um, it's not dying from that. It obviously will die eventually from that. Um, usually constipation or something else, but um, yeah, it's still the second most venomous snake on the planet. So have you kept an eye on your dog? Yeah, it looks fine. I mean, she's just a bit terrified because we screamed at her so much. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough, but, um... Yeah. This snake will have to be euthanized, I think. Yeah. But it's still like, its mind is still there, its teeth are still there, everything still works. So Except it's, for its back. Yeah, yeah, its, it's back is buggered. So if you grabbed it and it bit you, it'd still have the same result. Uh, we, were, we were very careful, and as I said, we're, we're at a six, uh, six foot snake yeah. with a three metre pole. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, we'll have to. Um, Did you him. get a photo of him? No. Did you want a photo of him? Poor thing. I actually think it's a very young female. It's surprising. It looks belly, very round. Its belly's a little bit full. I think you're right there. This is, a, I think, a very, very young female. And the reasons why your dog was so quick as to get it is because she's full of eggs, I think. So hopefully the vets can actually euthanize her, open her up, and get the you. eggs out. No, I don't think wait, so. Wait, Bubba. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah? You can see that, Brooke? Yeah, she got eggs. But yeah, getting them out is not do anything. Well, no, if, if she was due to lay them now, you possibly could. We've done it before where we've had an Eastern Brown that was laying eggs at the time, but they all failed anyway. Have the clips. 